Hola, boy. Right. Carl Munson here with the Good Morning Portugal Wine Club. Where are those lovely wine ninjas tonight? In Leria, uh, on the screen now. Doc and oh, not Leona. Yes, Leona. Hold yes. On. <laughs> uh, that's Hello. better. How are you guys this evening? Good, thank you. Good to see you as always. Okay. It's lovely to see you both too in the area. Andrew Gilchrist has already joined us. Uh, unfortunately, all I can do is look longingly at the wine. So sorry to do that to you. In Wales this evening, Doug is here as well, looking like a professional announcer. Oh, Go got Doug. me microphone to hand, yes. <laughs> hand in Al Vyazara tonight, Gary and... Oh, <laughs> where are the ladies? The ladies aren't <laughs> quite there yet. What's up with that? Linda, I'm sure, will be in due course. Um, so good evening to you, Gary. How are you? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. How about you? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited about this one tonight. This is my thing. Light and crisp and some somewhat bubbly. Talking of which, light and crisp and somewhat bubbly, here she is, our hostess <laughs> for this evening. I didn't write that on purpose. Hello, Penny. Hi. Of uh, Prosecco and Penny. Describes right. you perfectly, Carl. Yeah, lovely. No, that's you, not me. Um, but uh, thank you so much for taking us to the Vino Verde territory uh, this evening. Uh, would you care to introduce us to this lovely find of yours? Well, I will do. I mean, I know that I think some of you have had trouble getting this particular <clears throat> one. Little. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Once again, <laughs> it's really tough trying to find some information on particular very small vineyards in Portugal because they tend to, from what I can see, sell mainly to cooperatives so it's actually really really hard i have to, i think i sent you some information carl a little bit on the general gist of vino verde up there in northwest portugal but it is oh i've got a freeze I here know, i hope it's just it me is, and not um, the rest of us vino verde is an actual it's a bit like prosecco it comes from a particular region of portugal hello Hola. <laughs> hey coimbra crew oh. hi guys <laughs> No, it sounds like Vigna Verde Territory, Go Northwest, ahead, absolutely. Yeah, it's still up. You, you, look, you look gorgeous, Penny. Thank you, darling. So do you. Yes, and you, always. Rachel. And you, Leona. Thank and you. what's Linda? She's just drawing her hair. She's still in the shower, isn't she? I knew she was. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I, I bet she yeah, said, I'll just be five minutes as well. <laughs> <laughs> Northwest You know the story. Green wine. I gather that some of you have had difficulty getting this particular one, but I guess Vino Verde is pretty similar. Pretty similar, I don't know. You guys can be the measure of that, whether, whether what we're all testing is hmm? Sorry, what was that, Rachel? Similar to what? Uh, to my Vino oh. Verde. Oh. Uh. So for those who haven't got this particular one, I again, you know, we, I could be proven wrong tonight, but it would be interesting to see if our, all our wines are fairly similar. I'm a week late. You are? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a week there, late. We, we got a Vigno Verde, which is uh, Pavan. Uh-huh. Okay. You're on your Vigno Verde. That sounds nice, nice actually, but I'm going to I'm gonna just pull the cork on this one and and um, see where, where you guys were last week. Okay, Pavan, then that, I think that is Peacock, isn't it? In uh, Portuguese, going up to Leria. Look at this, Covella. Covella nice label. Covella, 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 okay, and in uh, in the uh, Austin household, what you got there? Uh, I don't, don't it's called, I can't because of the light. Mirafio, I think it's called. Okay, yes, Mirafio, yeah. yeah. And get who got the actual one tonight? <laughs> check, check me out. Uh, look at that. Oh, different but, label. Yeah, different label. And um, I only just oh. saw say it on it tiny little lettering. So I was lucky to find this in uh, uh earlier on um, today, but delighted to have done so. Um, what's what's what does your label look like, Penny? Let me show you mine. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> I already did. I'm waiting for this. Hold on a minute. Um, there it is. Okay, so there's the label. Yeah, it does look very tasteful, doesn't it? It's quite very strange. good. 
quite a restrained label. Yeah. And mine is yeah. made of, hang on, so I've got to put the bins on. I think it was a Rinto. I don't know how you pronounce yes. it. But... Yeah. Yeah, it's a Rinto, and it's 9.5%. Okay, 9 yeah. A Rinto seems to be quite Interesting. Well, I can hear the clap. That's weird. Mine's, mine's 10.5. It's supposed to be oh, the wow. same wine. They so I've got 10.5. Uh, <laughs> yep, so what, that's right. What year like, is yours, Carl? Uh, this will be a... I mean, aren't all Vigna Verdes this year? They don't, they don't keep today. It doesn't, it doesn't say as far as I can see. Mine's 2020. Well, ours is, is 2018 and 12.5%. Well, that's well, blown that through because mine's 2014. Oh, oh, really? I think they do keep. Yeah. That's, that's fancy. I, I think I, I saw something on the I said that they do keep. I think they do keep. Red wine. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I could, a I week could. late. I, I'm a week late and I haven't been and I haven't been out today to go and get a Vigno Verde. So um and I've been away for the past few days. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be a week late. I'm always late, so hey. -ho. It's all right. But you're not uh, you one thing, Doug, you're not late in dressing up. You look very you look very sharp today, man. Well, I'll like tell it. you what, like, Frank, I, like I ain't as sexy as you are. You look awesome. <laughs> awesome. Wow. <laughs> yep. uh, a few other folks joining us tonight evening from Stephen Wells great to have your company all of you thank you for tuning in Hola, I'm off from work but holding off until Friday adult beverage Nubianet absolutely um, Andrew's here was on our earlier webinar that was great fun tonight Andrew evening ladies and gents uh, just watching tonight being responsible sup Frank from Andrew uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that's to Frank <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Eric J, whose company Hi, will enjoy the man. And Gary and Linda are about to find out if it keeps. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my very quickly thought out theory, I don't think is probably um, true, is it at all? So the uh, Vigna Verde does uh, get laid down and kept from year to year by the sound of it. Mm. Um, shall I bring this onto the screen, Penny? This is a little bit of. Um, uh, info about the more general info about Vigna Verde. There's one for every moment. Look, exclusively produced mm -hmm. in the demarcated region of Vigna Verde in northwestern Portugal. Absolutely right there. It is only produced from the indigenous grape varieties of the region, preserving its tip typicity. Tip okay, um, of aromas and flavors <laughs> as in the in the world of wine. From Mal Malgasso to Val de Cambra, from Eshbozend until the Bashta granite mountains at the border with Trajesmonch, the soils rise and fall. Cities and towns here and there interrupt the vegetation. It is from this land, densely populated and with fertile soils, that the incomparable wines are born from the classical Vigna Verde style with low alcohol content, young and fresh, the sophisticated Vigna Verde with great storage and aging potential. There it is. Complex, intense, with mineral aromas and flavors. So there you go. That's, um, yeah, we, because we, we did have an Alvarino some time ago, didn't we? We're not strangers to the um, Vigna Verde. Anyone with any recollections of those tastings? A beautiful rendition, by the way, uh, Carl. On that one. Thank you, Douglas. Yeah, it's very David Attenborough, that wasn't it? It's very, uh, yeah. very <laughs> on earth. <laughs> <laughs> I also he, remember it. You would think that totally being right. the green wine, it'd be, be a bit like Beaujolais Nouveau, that it's just literally drunk fresh that year, but apparently not. So, thank you. Something new about it. Yes. Uh, Steve Welton, Benoit, everyone, we are not able to find Penny Selection, but try to come as close as possible with varietals. Casal Garcia, that was going to be my standby for tonight. That is a classic in Portugal. I love that label. One of the first Vigna Verdes I had here. Great choice, Steve. And I think it's alongside the Matheus and the Beirão. It's a, you know, it's a global brand uh, from Portugal. I will open a Vigna Verde later this evening. Still too early to join in now. Uh, we will not, on, we will not, put any, no, I was going to say, we're not going to put any peer group pressure on you, but yeah, come on, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> um, so back, back to you, Penny. Okay. So is everybody ready to taste or do you want any more oh, background yeah. info? Oh, yes. You catch us right in up. I'm getting pear drops on mine. Open a can. Oh, that packs a punch. Citrus. 
fruity as ever. Fruity mm. as, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, ours is really fruity. Yeah. Mm. Very citrus. Lovely. Guys, I gotta, I gotta say, I, I want, I want to add you guys into this. Uh, so I've got like um, a, someone who wants to be a part of our, uh, you know, the online uh, food and wine club group. I have never seen somebody answer something so diligently. Mm -hmm. So you know, like uh, we've got this thing. Well, what's your favorite Portuguese dish or wine? The person mm -hmm. says, today at least. Real Lavrador Vinho Tinto. I have a 2018, which is quite nice. Second thing, is there a wine or region you'd like us to try? And the person says, I usually prefer dry wines like Pinot Grigio, but had an excellent Vinho Verde at a restaurant recently. So Vinho Verde. And then the, you ask, do you have a question about Portuguese food? Where can I find something spicy? I am from Texas in Southern California. I think this person <laughs> Place to be in the wine club. What do you guys think? Let them I in. It's a yes for me. I think it's too, too serious. Too serious. <laughs> I love this. This is the first time I've, I've I've seen somebody write more than two words in a in one of these questionnaires. Isn't this yeah, amazing? I'm mm. kidding. I vote yes. <laughs> so is is he hot and tasty? It, well, yeah, that's 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 what they were looking for. So I gave it to oh, them. Uh, I was hoping he might be hot and tasty. No, no, no it was a she, Penny. <laughs> oh, a she. All oh, right. They, they play for the other team. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't think I could ask that in the same way that Penny did. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, hey all, cheers. Popping in for just a quick hello from the southwest of France. Oh, and lovely. The is getting ever closer. Um, certainly, yeah, your your schedule and direction there tomorrow. Great to have your company tonight. Will Thompson, bonite or a bonita. Um, just popping head in to say hi. Can't stay. You all look well. Hey, Will, well. lots of love to you, mate. We 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 raise a glass to you. Uh, yeah, love you, man. Uh, keep up the great work uh, that you're doing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a, a salute to you for for your diligence and hard work over these last 18 months. And I think it's getting a bit serious again, as you pointed out You correctly. were right, Will. You were right again. It was right. That's all you to hear from us tonight. Uh, apart from, and yes, we will get our fingers out, as he's urging us to do as well, Will. So, um, yes, thank you for being here this evening, mate. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, yeah, fruity. Um, so not talking about Will anymore, but the, well, back to the wine. Apples, definitely. Yes, appley and definitely got appley and citrusy on, on, on first impressions. Mm. Lemon. Okay. So we don't have... Appley, right? No, nothing? Pineapple, I think. But we don't have the same wine. Mm. Well, it's not the same one, but it's... No. Vigno Verde usually is a little bit acidic anyways. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is lovely on the palate. Really, mm. I, I agree. But it's very pineapple. How's 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 yours going over there, Garbo? Well, right, here's my story. Um, we, we opened this a bit earlier because we're having some sardines. We had sardines for for for, for tea. Uh, knowing that this this stuff is supposed to go with fish and, and start sardines especially, and it did. It really made the sardines absolutely sort of get up off the plate and sing. It, it's made for that dish, and I can see why. But we're not we're not Vino Verde fans. Um, you know, white wines are always difficult for us, and Vino Verde is right at the top of the the, the spectrum. This one is is really um, it's really punchy. This one is this this Linda can't drink this one. It's beyond her limit. <laughs> but if you like if you like a good sharp but very tasty wine, and I can see the difference between a, a now an older wine and a younger wine. This one has got a very very punchy zesty. Um, grapefruity twang to it but it's got a much deeper flavor behind that as well so you get the impact and the acidity but then you get something else with it as well but mm. it's it's a white wine it, it, it's 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 got to be with food for me it, drinking it like this it's it's you know you're not getting that what you need really i've got mine with lemonade, <laughs> put lemonade <Spitzer>. <laughs> i've got a pizza <laughs> Uh. <laughs> the situation for you, Linda, is that these these Vigna Verdes are just too acidic for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I are. can understand that. I can understand, that. and yeah. I wonder. I mean, people who drink this every day must end up with a bit of a 
you know, needing to have a few um, of those Rennies or whatever um, to mm. balance it up a bit. It is, it is pretty sharp, isn't it? And I can see yeah. how that would uh, yeah. accumulate. Do you remember that yeah. um, um, red wine we have? Uh, Anim, Animash? Animash? Anim, remember the one? Yeah, uh, I do. Um, they, they make um, Vigno Vergi as well. Um, and theirs is superb. It isn't in the least bit dry. Um, but I didn't have the wherewithal to go and get one for today's um, show. But um, um, I, I plainly and honestly, I forgot. So I thought I'd just go with uh, last week's wine and see where I am with that. But um, oh, yeah, well. that, that's, if, if, you, if you like, have a go at a Vino Verge that's very light on the palate and smooth and not as acidic. That's the one to look out for. I like that one. All right. Um, if you could possibly put that in our private chat or comments, Doug, that's a good one to look out for. Will do. And I, yeah. love, I love how you say it like a Brazilian as well. Did you notice that, yeah. Rachel? Yeah, well, I'm afraid that's probably down to the Coimbra crew. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think it sounds quite, quite, quite sexy compared to Vino Verde, doesn't it? You know, it's, yeah. I like yeah. Vino Verde. Vino Verde is brilliant. I love that. Uh, mm. We are going to take this the, um, as a, a compliment. Well, of course. <laughs> Let me hear you say it, Rachel. Go on. Be in your how, often, how, often, how often do you do you hear Doug say sexy? <laughs> it's not all that comfortably lies on my on, on my book. And mind you, we hear Doug on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I understand you've been away for a little while, and um, really? you've been doing stuff with cars, maybe? Yeah, it was quite much fun, actually, that was. I've been drinking Castrol GTX rather than wine. <laughs> yes. How is that? What's, what's the perfect pairing for that? It's not exactly olive oil, is it? No, no it would be, it'd be, it'd be more olive oil than wine, I fear, but you could, you could easily drizzle it on a salad with a little Drink. bit of, 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 of vinaigrette, yeah. A bit of GTX, a bit of GTX nice on your <laughs> Very good, very good. Grease nipples, Doug. Right. Grease nipples. Um, same to you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's getting like that. What, 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 what's what's the, what, what's the Doc and Leona thinking? What 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 are, what are we what are we drinking? What are we thinking of? What we are drinking? Um, so it's a 2018 Vigna Verde, and. Uh, on the nose, I got um, honey, um, but Leona, you... Yeah, well, I said honey You melon. said honey dew melon, yeah. Good, good taste. And then uh, yeah. taste-wise, apples, um, mm. quite appley, um, not unpleasant, not too sharp. Um, yeah, it's okay. I'm not... We it's Neither of us are great white them. wine fl uh, fans, but it's... Um, oh, I say that's some accolade, than... not too unpleasant. It's well, it's yeah, it, you know, we, we have to say as we find, but we 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 don't generally like white wine, but but it, it's it's okay, yeah, yeah. We are certainly coughing wine. Has that changed since you've been in Portugal, though? Um, we haven't drunk that much white wine o outside of um our wine club nights, we haven't drunk any white wine. Oh, and uh, and at Lewis's, of course, as well. Um, but um, apart, apart from that, we <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can't really say that, uh, that, that that anything's changed. We always go for red. So. You know, I saw his rebel wine today in my supermarket, and sadly, as you know, I used to have a man uh, to get my wine from, and uh, I'm back in the supermarket territory. But Ela Clerk have put doing, do, have done me two weeks in a row, done me proud, and um, I saw I saw his face looking out from me, you know, doing his little. <laughs> It's a good wine. It's a good wine. Yeah. yeah. The, the Rebel wine um, is there in Ela Clerk if anyone's looking for it. Uh, the nice. friends of uh, the friend of uh, Andy and Leo, uh, Luis Pato. Uh, Gina's in. Uh, hello from Washington, D.C. Decided to pop over from the Ask the Expat hey, Forum. Thanks, Gina. Thanks for joining us. Are you, are you sipping on a wine over there in Washington tonight? Uh, so how is it? Um, dry, crisp, sweet, sharp. I think Andrew was prompting us a bit to, to, to say something about the wine as well as everything else. So I think we, we've got there in the end. Um, we've had pineapple. We've had citrus. We've had apple. We've had melon. These are all very, very sort of signature things of the Vigna Verge, I think. <laughs> Anything unusual that anyone's picked up? I don't know whether you can see this. 
ours is ours is like weirdly well it's 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 decent but whenever you drink vino verde you ex expect the acidity but this one is like not that acidic but it's got like a very uh, sharp end to it like as soon as you drink it like almost almost immediately it just like halt yeah right seriously and um, it's very fruity and but um but it's it, it kind of it kind of it kind of goes mellow on you at, yeah. at times. It, it's kind of mellow, like Carl Munson, the Kardashian. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Love the Kardashians. Um, yes. I, I, the, these are the general comments about Vigna Verde, aren't they? And, and um, Eric's yeah. saying, um, as each of you have different brands, are they all dry and sharp? If so, not. Yes. I, yeah, but there's a bit of sweetness as well, isn't there? That we've we've remarked upon. Or is it a dry, a dry fruitiness? Maybe I don't know. I think it's a dry fruitiness. A dry fruitiness. Yeah. Mm. I find right. Avino Verde goes amazingly well with a with a, a beautiful um, salad and mishta um, uh, on a hot summer's day. There you it's go. Just Good, Gary. Yeah, uh, Gary. Can I just ask everybody to pick their glasses up so I can see the colour that everybody else has got? Yeah. I will go round. Should we go round one by one? Yeah, that's uh, probably the best. That's probably the best. So that's they very have... pale, Carl. That, that's very, very yeah. pale. Mm -hmm. I, but I'm well hydrated, that's why. <laughs> uh, and, that's that's and, still yeah. quite pale, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. yeah. a very straw sort of colour, and it's very, very... And Penny, so the, you, you, your wines you've got there are really quite uh, quite pale. Mm, this one's quite dark. What about yours, Doug? And dog, dog's, dog's, <laughs> dog's red, aren't you? I think it's gone off. Now look at that. Could be, could, be phrase, could be freeze Doug's face like that. Hold on a minute. That looks it. like a sample, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just look at Gary's sample for a minute. Gary, you got your balls mixed up, mate. <laughs> but, but, right. I've, I've, remembering the, the Vino Verdes, the Verdes that we've had, especially the Alvarino, they were pale. Now this one is, is a lot darker and it's got a lot more um, body to it almost. It's yeah, got yeah. the sharpness and it's got the you know that what you want from a, a Vina Verde, but it's got a lot afterwards as well. So maybe they go darker as they get older. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's got a lot of colour yeah. to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. maybe, that is, that, maybe that is what happens. It goes darker with age. Very interesting. Possibly. Possibly. <clears throat> like mine's gone really dark, so I don't know what's happened to mine. <laughs> I have a question. Dugsy's prehistoric. <laughs> Why are you explaining so much but your It's like glass. the stones and bones from the dinosaur place that I explained earlier. It's stones and bones. Um Thank it's you very much. prehistoric of Eno Verge this one. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um John Drury thinks we're like we look like a, a happy crew this evening. It's true. I think we are, we are amongst our beautiful friends. The fizz does it as well, and it fizz does the beers, even though it's a very light fizz on the Vigna Verde. Just that, that yeah, juvenile grape business going on there. Uh, Doug, although you couldn't confirm or deny if you've got grease nipples, would you care to comment whether you've lubricated your trunnions? Trunnions are a very, very important part of the, uh, um, the, the anatomy of a motor vehicle to lubricate well. So if you don't have lubricated trunnions, you might find yourself in a lot of trouble actually yeah very good thank you for that advice there are you not the, would you say you're the instead of swiss tony you're like welsh tony making love to a making love <laughs> to a beautiful woman is not unlike owning a bentley that sort of thing mm, i think that would probably be overstating it a little bit don't you um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i didn't think you would have answered quite that directly thank you for that um got, got welsh tony that is your name from now on oh, okay welsh tony hey welsh tony huh uh, the, have you have you not seen swiss tony from the fast show Doug? yes i have yeah that's yeah. that's who that's who we're basing you on love of cars love of the good life welsh tony um my, my great granddad was um was a racing mechanic for atala many oh, yeah. obviously many many moons ago and he used to do the cross-continent races with a prince in his atala so his job was really driving between towns, but every time they got to a major town, the prince would take over the driving seat again, 
and in between time he'd be putting his car back together the whole time as they're going up mountains and over wow. ravines and all sorts he, he, lots and lots of interesting tales from my great granddad on that oh I bet. are they are they captured anywhere that sounds fantastic yeah yeah he didn't do the peking to um uh paris run but the prince did um but yeah he's got a lot of photos of him still in the cars and around race tracks around the world and various places so it's, it's great and he's the prince of where uh oh gosh i can't remember where that prince was not, from not bel-air presumably he also raced for somebody just with a really plain name mr somebody or other who had one of the last surviving Italas, i think in the in the uk can't remember what his name was now but yeah but there's lots of photos in history about that so it's quite of course Italo is no more so it's a shame. i remember being on a classic car run and and um some um aristocratic chap had a, a very old and very valuable jaguar and he was showing it off it was beautiful for, for us who like classic cars but a little boy came by and said oh he's a prince is he and he said yeah, he's, a prince. Said, yeah he's a prince of blah, 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 whatever it was you think you could afford a new one? <laughs> <laughs> From the mouths of babes, I love it. Absolutely brilliant. It reminds me of the um, the Fiat documentary. That's an amazing story. Have you seen that, Penny? Yes. Yeah. So, it, it, isn't it great? You know, the, it, yeah. it, it showcases the Italian psyche so brilliantly. I think that whole story of how the um, was it the son, the playboy son of the Fiat Empire. He used to want to drive himself into work, but he was he was you know a wanted man by certain sectors of society. Incredible documentary, incredible story. As uh, usual, I, it's like when somebody says, "Have you watched a film?" I can always remember I've watched the film, but ask me the detail, <laughs> forget it. Okay, I can read a book cars. and realise I've read it before. Jaws. We've, we've seen some great cars from our balcony, um, especially Leona, because Leona um, likes to sit out there quite a lot. And um, old Jags, um, what do we see today? An BMW old... 2020. BMW 2020. And we saw a, an old Ford Escort today, um, souped up with a with a spoiler, a spoiler on the back. And uh, yeah, <laughs> old Capris, all sorts of cars. Whereabouts were you, by the way? Um... Um, in Lyria, in, uh, just, just looking out of our balcony on, on the, uh, over the roundabout. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not terribly far from the motor museum where you live, then, are you? There's one. Um, there's a motor museum up not far from you. Yes. Oh, I can't remember. Oh. Further north. Further north. Yeah, slightly further north. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's the Salazar's old cars in there. Incredible. It's a great motor museum as well. It's, it's got some very. Doug, Doug it's 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 this motor museum is near me. I can tell you, it's no good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's All a beautiful right. area though isn't it they have um they have a, a an event a, a car event there um every year don't they yeah, yeah. i love that place. Well, yeah. have no idea i think i think right we should give doug a classic car spot oh yes. no not, yeah, in, not, not, in, in, not enough people are interested in, uh, in that. i think more more people <laughs> are interested in this stuff <laughs> the, fuel, the stop, red diesel frank, frank would love it yeah, I think Frank yeah. could. We could just tease Frank into it gently, couldn't we? Yes. yes. Well, you know what I would love. You know what I would love. <laughs> you know what I would. Love, what I would love, Doug, is for you to drive the car while I sit in the back and chug champagne. <laughs> no, 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 no. We we, we 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 leave the women to do the driving. You and me can sit in the back and chug champagne. <laughs> and there you and there you go saying the wrong things again. Yes. <laughs> I don't say the wrong things. I do it to wind people up. So well. <laughs> in, in this house, all the women don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I am the driver. That's like, I'm making a decent cataplana with you. That's all. <laughs> we got you got a lot of that. John, you know what you're all right. You're all right. We love you. Uh, uh, the yeah. place you're thinking of uh, is Caramulo. Caramulo. Uh, How can I forget with car in the name Caramulo? Car yes. Yeah, that's so the boy. There, there it is, uh, Caramulo. Museum, and I'm sure they do. Frank, all is not lost because they probably do a, a sort of wine reception there as well. <laughs> looks great. Look at those beauties. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. It is. That, 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 that's an amazing facility. It really is. 
A champagne reception there, and we're laughing. Uh, something for everybody. <laughs> Okay, uh, lubricate your trunnions, not your bunions. Good advice coming in. No, two doctors in the house tonight. Uh, the one Vigna Verde I've tried is not overly acidic or too dry. A Spiral Vigna Verde Trader Joe's at four fifty nine. That's good value, isn't it? it it's yeah. Very, good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And uh, Andrew Portugal has a great love of old Alfa Romeo cars as well. Oh yes. Yeah. You've got you've got to have driven an Alfa Romeo at least once in your life to know what driving to bed. You're right. <laughs> I completely mm -hmm. concur. Yeah. What do you think, Frank? Would you agree with that? Is that a bicycle? <laughs> I'd love one. <laughs> Alfa the Alfa Romeos survive in Portugal because they um, once you brought them up to Northern Europe, they just rotted away. Um, you know, in in a dry in, dry, in a in a dry country like Portugal, they survived. Um, yeah, as excellent. long as they don't bring them indoors. Yeah. And then they then it'd be really 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 damp and mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good point. Good point. Do not take your Alfa Romeo indoors in Portugal. Uh, that's one for the forum. Okay, um, a little bit of scoring. I think we should go to Doug, given that he's a week late. He's got the Porto Seixe there. Um, what's your score for that, Doug? Because you, you weren't with us last week. You were having a great time, I think. Um, but we would like to, to complete the scoring from last week's Porto Six, which was a selection of Andy and Leona. What's your view on it? Um, I've had better Portuguese wines. To be perfectly honest, um, okay. I'm I'm not an, um, uh, um, entirely enamoured by it. I find it a, a little bit wishy washy. It's um it, it's not a stick your ribs wine, is it? Like I usually like. Um, um, I, I'd give this. What would I give this? Mm. Maybe a three point nine. Oh. No, it's, too, it's I, I find it a bit dry. I'm not keen. So we gave it an average of about 4.6 or 7, I think, last week. Wow, you, wow, you like your dry reds, don't you? We'll, we'll ignore, your, yeah. ignore your scores, though. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, I'm completely, uh, you know, devoid of any palate whatsoever. Yeah, there, there's that, of course. I drink well <laughs> beer and instead of, of wine as a generality. So, fair comment. Oh. Oh, Doug is one week late and yeah. he is not good enough. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe with a bit more drinking. I've only had a glass or two. So maybe if another one goes down the hatch between now and the end of your show, I might rate it slightly differently. Good. Well, we'll come back to that. Okay. So um, let's go to the um, not the actual Vigna Verde in question, because my colleagues have been a little lax this, this week in not finding the actual wine, unlike myself here, Penny. So we, 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 will, we will do our own little bit of scoring at the end. Uh, so let's score the other Vigna Verdes. Uh, should we go to Al Vazra first? He's such a Carl is such an ass kiss by the way, people. He's like he's like the school monitor. He's brought the apple to the teacher, hasn't he? Yes. 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 <laughs> so to so the first household who didn't manage to get the correct wine tonight. <laughs> the I thought you would come to this household first, Carl. Just to ruin him. Just to ruin him. No, we should yeah. say this is this is the first time. This is wine forty-seven, and this is the first time you've not been able to get hold of the actual, um, you know, wine in question. So I yeah. take my hat off to you. I mean, you're you're often more diligent than I am, yeah. as everyone knows. I think. So uh, I just wanted to rub it in. But yeah, fair play so to your diligence. I, I have to. I have to say, both both Garbo and Linda are stalwarts of the wine ninjas because they've had all the wines each and every week, and this is the first time. Mm. So, Linda, what do you, th Linda, what do you think? What what's what's going on here? Like, uh, it's like nothing. You hate it. <laughs> I, I I don't like it. I have to say that it's far too acidic for me. And um, is it fair for me to judge it? I've put lemonade in it. So um, <laughs> that's based fantastic. on the original taste that I had. This is original, yeah. I would tell you, I would just mark it on okay. that. Okay, okay. Oh, that's going to be even worse after lemonade. Yeah, oh, it's going to be harsh. One of them. Oh, she hates it. 1.5. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this, this is amazing. Right, that's exactly what we... Linda, we love you. This is amazing. This is exactly the kind of rating we want from you. 
Is my turn now? <laughs> right, okay. As, as ever, you're never going to get a straight answer from me. Not us. Um, when I first had it, I thought, blimey, I'm, I'm really not going to enjoy this at all. Uh, had it with a meal with a sardine, I thought, yes, there's something in this. Um, and as I've been drinking it, I think we've started to fall in love a little bit. It's, 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 it's probably the best uh, vino verde I've tasted because um, it's, it's, it's complex. It's not just, you know, pow, sharp citrus. It's, it's sharp citrus and then it, it goes further. So as, as a vino verde, I've got to say, Four point six, right. but as 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 a wine that I would drink, less less so. But I always try and keep it fair because it's a vineyard birthday, um, and probably one of the nicest ones I've had. It's it's very very cultured. It's very it's sharp. It's crisp, but quite smooth as well at the end. Very good. There and you go. Wow. Two thousand and fourteen. That's been saved for seven years. What I thought would be like, as um, Penny was saying, in the Beaujolais Nouveau territory, got to be drunk quickly, laid down, got darker, got richer, got more complex, and uh, an upset from Alvazer and, and from both Gary and Lynn tonight. Amazing. I have a question. You're very polarized. <laughs> Times we're living question. in. So Go on. Vinho Verde, the same category as uh, white wine. No, but Garvo had just created, uh, I actually like this, Garvo has created the what, uh, Vigno Verde category, which is actually fair to do. You're right, Garvo, that's the way we should do it. Okay, okay. We should do it in the Vigno Verde category, because we've done Espumante, yes. we've done the whatever, so it should have its own category. You're right, Garvo. Yeah. I think, that's, I think that's fair, because you can't compare yeah. a red with a white, because you might be a natural red drinker like me. And it wouldn't be fair. So I've got to, to assess it on its own virtue. And as on its own virtue, this one's really nice. Okay. Can I ask a question? How many of you guys had the Porta Sage um, uh, last week? Uh, we, we couldn't find it. The, okay. the, the, the teacher's pet over there, up to uh, Mr. Kaldashian over there, he got it last week. Ooh, that's fantastic. Did any yeah. of you guys have the reserver or was, just the normal Porta Sage? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Penny yeah. 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 was excused. I think that's reserva. No, we didn't have reserva. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I had a yeah. note from my mother. Then you phone here. You forged it. <laughs> There's a Veruca. Not, not a Veruca again. Oh, God. She's a very <laughs> naughty girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, you can sit on the bench for the session. Okay, yeah, we, we um, it was a good session, Doug. It was good. Porto Sage is the um, is a, a, an export wine, really, isn't it? It's, it's aimed at the export market, and 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 quite rightly so. I think it, they, they 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 did a really good job with it. The graphics, the whole package, and we really mm. enjoyed it. It was a great night. But I got to say, I mean, you know, I'm not a, I, I'm, It's not like I've gone off red wine. But I've just, you know, my world of Espumant and Vigna Verde is so much more exciting to me. It's the I, time I, of year, I think, perhaps, Carl. Partly that. Frank's laughing because he, he has another theory. <laughs> what, Coimbra? What are you, what's that? The reason, why, the reason why I'm laughing is because you don't have your peasant boy going and running you're getting your wine from the oh, from your wine merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all That's right. Okay. Oh, he's gone from being his man to his peasant boy. I have never I have never referred to anybody <laughs> as my peasant boy. I would like that for, to, to be noted this evening. I have never had a peasant boy, and nor would I want one um, in any... In any, in any I've got at least four or five of those. And how is it, though? Do you recommend it? <laughs> I certainly do. You need a why is it why is that as soon as they say peasant boy, Doug is suddenly attentive? <laughs> I mean, it is a weird thing. I mean, I was reminded of uh, reminded of a story of my um, dearly and re fairly recently departed stepfather, and you know, people from a different age, including Doug, get away, <laughs> get away with, <laughs> get, get away with these turns of phrase. Doug, I'm only kidding, but my my stepfather, he, when he came to my um, uh, wedding wedding celebration, our wedding our wedding weekend. Um, 
and my stepfather was there. And I think he was, he was getting to that point in life, you know, as an older fella, he didn't really care what he said anymore. And you know, you know, the age that some gentlemen get to. <laughs> I, you I always know. say, you always punctuate your sentences. We'll have you know, I'll have you know. <laughs> that sort of, yeah, or I'm not being funny or anything, or I'm not being racist. You know, those, that generation of, of people. <clears throat> and um, so there he is. I mean, my mother's Chinese, bear this in mind, okay. And we're in, we're in there's the Friday before the Saturday of the wedding. And one of our colleagues from from of Chinese extraction is working behind the bar. And my stepfather, dear old Bucko, says, um, could you ask the Chinese boy to bring me another drink? <laughs> it's like, uh, the Chinese yeah. boy, the Chinese boy is like in his 40s. For, for, you know. <laughs> As part of this story, and every you can imagine, can't you? The atmosphere, how the atmosphere changed in this, oh, and we oh think, you know, my he's one of my colleagues. We got we got married where we worked, uh, where I worked, and um, it's like, oh dear, oh dear, slight, you know, intake of breath. <laughs> and it's like I have to go up to you know to, to my colleague and say, yeah, I hope you weren't offended by my stepfather after a few <laughs> after a few G and T saying like that. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. He was really, he took it in his stride. But the, this is an age, of, this is an age and type of, of fella, isn't it? This, this, you know, Bucko's gone now. And I think that whole thing has gone with that generation. You know, that, and he, he couldn't, I don't think he could see anything wrong with that, <laughs> that approach. I can we keep were, getting we told off you by my missus um, um, when, when it comes to a Friday night and says, I can't be bothered cooking tonight. Well, what do you fancy? He says, well, why don't we nip down the chinkies? And my so, missus finds that tremendously offensive. Tremendously offensive. And, I, and, and she says, I'm not going anywhere until you rephrase that, she says to me. But you keep saying well, it, Doug. I, I, but but I, that's what I've always said, you know, it, it, it just comes out. I'm going to put you back in that category, Doug. Uh, yeah, I think you are. I mean, I'm with your stepfather here. I to share with you, yeah. this is how, how things have changed. So my son Thank had um, a Saturday job. In, I think it was, uh, I don't know, sports shop, shoe, sports shoe shop. And um, an old man kept on asking him to, if he could get different trainers and, and my son was getting them for him. And Ryan came home and said, Mom, you'll never guess what. He would have been about 16. Mm. And he said, Mom, you never guess what. I was trying to serve this man. And he threw the trainer at me. Times are different. My son loved the trainer, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, he wasn't expecting that. The old why did he lob the trainer at him? A customer. Yeah, but why? Him? Why did the customer do it in the first place? I don't know. Place? I don't, he was just rude. Maybe he was hot oh. and bored and could do it to a schoolboy, but he got it back. He threw it back. Right. Yeah, my yeah. my mom. I'll, I'll I'll tell you. Uh, I'll I'll tell you this. It was something great right in North America. If you uh, call someone who is uh, who is, let's say, of Chinese extraction, um, Oriental. Yeah. Uh, in North America, it's, uh, it's actually it's, it's an offensive term. You yeah. cannot call really? someone yeah. uh, from a Chinese ext extraction Oriental. Yeah. And it's taken me years to tell my mom that you cannot call someone Oriental. Uh, you have to you ha you have to say Chinese Canadian yeah. or you have to you have to be like very whatever yeah. and uh, I'm very proud of her she now does do Chinese Canadian she does not say Oriental anymore and we it's it's just about having the conversation very clearly and laying the cards down and just saying listen this is how it needs to be uh, there will never, there will never be this kind of nonsense in in, in casual company with you say calling people Oriental. It's not going to happen no. anymore. This is news to Doug, though. Doug, next. I'm bugging Friday. wherever I go. That's what I've just re realized. Exactly. No matter where I go, I'm 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 going to say the wrong Frank, thing. Aren't I? You know, it's Frank. What if if they were if they were of Korean extraction? If you called them Chinese, they mm. might be very upset. Yes, yes, well, I get that. I do, I do I understand, but you know, in North America, what we usually do is, it's a very convenient thing, but it's also, it works out politically correct, is like you can call someone um, Korean-Canadian, or you can call someone uh, Greek-Canadian, or you can call someone, whatever their background is, you can call them a mixture of both. But, you know, like going, 
and, and calling someone who, as you may, like, you know, someone who's Korean or someone who's like whatever and calling everybody the same and calling them all Oriental, even the Japanese, that's not on. It will, it will, never, it will never happen in, in even casual company. It will, it, it's not cool. The best thing I can do is just keep my big mouth shut, I think. Like I say, how old is your mum, Frank? Uh, 84, 85. Okay. She's 30 years younger than you, Doug. So yeah. learn your <laughs> <laughs> That one came from the head, didn't you? You didn't say that one come in. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just have to learn a completely different culture. And you've got to remember I live in rural Wales. I'm in the sticks. I don't see people half, you know, um uh, uh, you know, six days out of the week. I I I'm I live amongst fields and sheep and mountains. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. sheep. No, cheap. We, we would cheap. Uh, you know, we would never see no, that. There, there's no, some stereotyping coming from Brixton. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we don't know what you're talking about. I love it, Danny, I love it. My sister lives out in the sticks. And Seriously. if she came, she has come across people that have been racist and they have been very, very unfortunate to come across her. So, you know what? I, I don't do racism. That's just awful. I don't do that. I, I absolutely I believe you, Doug, and and this yeah. is this. Yeah. That's why these conversations are so yeah. so important, and, and and you know, funny at times as well. Um, I thought this was Thursday night, says Eric J. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we did. Really, yeah. This is the amazing part of, of these uh, of these conversations. It's it's. It's it's never pointing up uh, pointing fingers at anyone. I think the best part of, about us as a community is that we can talk about these things very comfortably, and we can go about it and we can share our experiences as a multicultural community, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. We, and we've ruined Doug's Friday night because Doug was thinking to himself, "I'm not. I'm going to stop saying chinky. I'm going to say Oriental instead." And we've, <laughs> we've, 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 we've yeah. ruined that for him tomorrow oh, night. Oh, it's Thursday. Yeah. It's oh. nice to, okay. Welcome this to the is, wine cave. This is a buddy. practice for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the wine cave. I like that. The wine cave. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. It's got something. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to the wine then. Fantastic. Thank you for the little diversion, Doug. Um, shall we do? Okay. So who else didn't get the right wine? I didn't even get the right bloody colour, you know. It's <laughs> all right, Pavel. There you go, says it all. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was below the belt dot. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> yeah, that had to be said. That had to be said. I love it though, Doc. I like that. Peacock, Peacock Vigna Verde. How is it? It's going down well. Look at Frank. Chugged it. Well, it's going down very well. <laughs> I'm actually now, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same spot as Garbo. Actually, I'm not. Put the camera on Garbo. See, I see. I was giggling like a little girl. Look at him. <laughs> it's gone. It's empty. Okay. That's finished. It's absolutely That's empty, that. and I've drunk most of that. So. <laughs> right, Coimbra, please your score. Go ahead. Okay, so I say in the vino verde category. Yeah. This one was. Really nice. I I'm going to say four and a half. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? <laughs> I enjoyed it. Are you drinking the same wine as me? I am. Controversy. <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll drink yeah. some more of this wine. There you go, Rachel. You're 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 condemned to the driver's seat. What whilst the connoisseurs go in the back drinking proper wine, you see. <laughs> I am always <laughs> you, you remain a troublemaker, Doug. Aren't I, <laughs> aren't I horrible? No opportunity. Yeah, no, this one I would I I, I don't know. I'm not um uh, I don't I don't know. Why would you give it a four point five? I'm like kinda like, I'm like <laughs> okay, so this this one like we have no idea which grapes are there. Yeah, because this was one of the things when we were over there we were buying this. It was like half an hour. It took my wife half an hour. She's looking at it. She goes, ah, I don't know which grape it is. And I go, I don't really care. Like, well, it's in your verb. <laughs> Frank, she's not Bette Midler. <laughs> <laughs> it was my choice. So I'm like, she goes, yeah, I don't know which, which one it is. And I'm like, oh, all right. 
I, I kind of I kind of think it'd be all right. Like it's called Pabam. I like the label, and uh, and she's and it actually even has. If you look at it over here, it's got like an award. So I looked at the award <laughs> thing. I go, they must be doing something right. It's got like an award. Village. It was an award from the village. It was the, the award from the village fate. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> Something <laughs> good going on over here. So we got it. And she gives it a 4.5. I yeah. think it's a 3.9. Really? Yeah. <laughs> After all that, it gives you 3.9. I thought it was going to be 2.5 or something like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Coimbra. Not that bad. It's not that great either. It's not that bad, but this one sucked. I, I really didn't like it. It's not that bad. Are you doing the Vino Verde? Um, yes. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Look, look. No. You're not doing my work. You're doing definitely Vino Verde. Yeah. Vino Verde. It's it's the the there it goes. Rachel, Hi. Rachel, Rachel, just for me and Doug, say it again. Say Vino Verde. Vino Verde. Oh, I, it is I can't I come give it anywhere yeah. near that. Once more, please. <laughs> say it. I can't say it. Am I supposed to be like Joe on the yes, podcast? Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, uh, <laughs> so yeah. 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 Every time he's asked to say picanha, yeah. Big yeah. Big <laughs> and I'm just like, do you really need to be that close to the camera when you say it? <laughs> so I'm going to say, you're saying, Oh, yes, I'm going to buy that CD. Um, I think, quivering. in case, in case you're wondering, the new CD or digital download of Joel and Rachel saying. <laughs> Will be um, such, such, classic, such classics as Picanha and Vigna Verge will be available on, on said digital download. Oh, All for my, I also can say Picanha. Say, say Picanha. Picanha. Oh, <laughs> this, is a, this is a female drill right here. Yeah, I can understand. Frank, Frank and Rachel, if you need to leave soon, that's completely understandable. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so another another household who didn't get the wine tonight. Um, Andy and Leona. Have I milked that? Enough yet? <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Frank. <laughs> Frank, this is the request. <laughs> Cuecas. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Andrew. <laughs> and dear Leo. They can, me, they can make me do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's only Thursday. <laughs> okay, so I would say that it's drinkable. Um, it's not. <laughs> I am learning more about political Probably. correctness every minute. <laughs> give it a three point seven. Okay, three point seven. Oh. Yeah, but that's the one they're drinking, right? <laughs> <laughs> Doc. Doc, say Austin. All right, so um, <laughs> I'll say it again. All right, you want to say Boston? Boston. 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 That's not well, from that black country. Uh, black, and my, my black great black country. country, I'll have you know. Right. All right. Uh, okay. That's settled. So, um, yeah, as you know, I'm not a great white wine, white wine fan. Um, it's right. Uh, I wouldn't be as harsh as Leona, um, and I wouldn't mind it on a hot summer evening, probably. So I don't know, three point nine. Well, that's that's pretty generous. Three point six. Three point nine from me. Okay. All right. So, um, Penny. Yeah, Penny grimaced a little bit there. 
Um, well, we seem to have separated um, partners here. That's quite sort of weird yes. stuff going on. Yes, polarized, divisive stuff. This vineyard. Don't <laughs> argue amongst yourselves, guys. Please. Penny didn't mean for that to happen. Did you? you argue by yourself, Pen. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's much better, isn't it? I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about anybody else, and I can drink the whole bottle all by myself. Yes. <laughs> Look at and this. I have to say, it's very quaffable. We, we will do our scoring on the correct wine in just a moment. Penny, uh, drinkable is the bag wine, not Vigna Verde. Okay, yeah, the soft, yes. Yeah, by the way, guys, this you can buy this as a box wine, yeah. you can, can't they know yeah. what they're doing for the export, don't they? Absolutely, <laughs> they ain't buying that as a box wine. Tell you what, they, oh, wow. they, you can get a load of those in a container, can't you? <laughs> or stack better in a container if it's square. Yeah. Um, it's wet, can hold a chill. Comes in a nice glass bowl. There's a there's a rousing review as well. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that, Scott Wicks. Look at this. Wayne is here as well. Wayne Honey. Hello from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Fun crowd. I don't really drink, but good morning, Portugal airs at 1 a.m. in my time. Nice to see you all. Can only stay for a moment as I'm on a break working from home. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, John Drury, I love that Vina Verge pronunciation. Sounds very Brazilian. It absolutely is, John. That's why. And oh. uh, <laughs> five liters of goon juice, <laughs> Portuguese. They're being wicked about bag wine, soap, yes, all so much better than this. <laughs> Patrick Koenig, we resent this absolutely, but we don't deny it as usual. Um, <laughs> all, 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 I'm going to say Mary uh, instead of uh, what you've put there, Patrick. I, I was it. waiting there, Carl. I was waiting there for when, when Penny said, it's very quaffable, and she got the bottle, and then she tipped it on her knee. Do <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> you do that, do you, Penny? Sorry? Do you do that, tip the stuff on your knee when you've had too many? It's my God. Sounds no, like that's I the did, I'd be licking it up, I'll tell you. <laughs> Yes. The, okay. The wonderful, the wonderful thing about uh, the wonderful thing about Penny is that she does everything so elegantly. Like she's like she's she's going to be like getting drunk, and as she's getting drunk with us, she does it so well, and she does it with such a smile. You're just like, man, I wish I could get drunk like her. Yeah. She can even go to the loo with class. I've got to give a woman a Jew. She's brilliant. It's she not just that. <laughs> right, Have you I'm ever seen to the toilet once? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody fire a toilet? Thank you very much. It's a privilege, <laughs> honor. Yeah, and what, we should have about, a moment. And what about firing a cork into your face? That was done so beautifully as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. unflappable. Oh, oh yeah. it was a cork and hit my face. Yes. It all sounds so kind, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeannie's saying to um, Wayne, I'm in Santa Fe too. This is a wonderful site. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. Appreciate that. Uh, Anna Milne, Ola Ninjas, ashamed to say it, I'm on. Yeah. What? How oh, very it. dare you? But finish my wine course <laughs> Tourism Portugal yesterday. Great. How do you celebrate the end of a Tourism Portugal wine course? We should all go on that, in fact, shouldn't I we? I thought Anna was going to come and join us. She will. She will. Yeah. At some point, I'm sure. And I'm Carl, hoping... Carl, I think um, Tourism Portugal should give us the course for free. Um, I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well said, Doc. <laughs> And you know, when you go to a sort of a corporate conference, you as a, as a medic, as a doctor, you'll know this. You get invited to AstraZeneca's conference, and they put a bit of talent on, don't they, on the stage? They should bring, they should pay us to go there and be yeah. the entertainment during the break, right, or something like that. Yeah. Hang oh, out. They should, they should they should pay us as the experts. Oh, man, old Mankini update. I needed, I need to put a time limit on this. Can you imagine? Uh -huh. if, See, oh, no, come fair. on. If, no, but seriously, if, if, the, if the women finally get their group together in, what, 2040, and I'm going to be what? I'm not going to look very good in a gold mankini at 2040. You're going like to look like a melted candle, Does mate. It <laughs> nobody's going like, nobody's to be by your age, Estimus, I'd be dead. He only doesn't think you could look any worse than you do now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Namaste <laughs> to you as well. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, Penny is a classy woman. We would agree with that. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll be near one of my favorite wine shops, and I found out they have Portuguese wines. I'll have to buy a couple of Dunubianet and join us. Great. 
it's yeah. it's it's um it's not a difficult transition to come from the comments onto the screen as everybody here has done and this that's been all our careers from comments to screen and so do join us you know don't 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 feel um excluded from the screen come and join us nubianet i only like Casal garcia and gazela Verge. i'm in sarah on holidays at the moment and just had a do Valley Tinto was lovely. Oh, Thank you, Andrea Vieira. Uh, go on, Andrea. Garvin. Andrea, right. This stuff makes Castle Garcia taste like battery acid. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, true. Is that, is, that is good. That, I like that. Okay. Bifana's out for the lads um, here. Celebrate with Bifana's uh, from Andrew mm -hmm. Gilchrist. You've got to be careful with a Bifana um, in terms of dental work, haven't you? Sometimes it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> With Sometimes a... it's like like chewing gum. Yes, and you think yeah, that's not a good bifana. All, all good bifanas I've had, you don't have to really really worry about it. They just right. They just it's bifanas are so heavenly when when people know what they're doing with it. There's two places in Lisbon I know. Uh, it's a husband and wife. Both places are run by husband and wife. Yeah. And they do remember the, those two places. Sure. It's classic. It's not expensive. Uh, one euro fifty for a beautiful bifana, and a uh, glass a glass of wine is seventy five cents. My God. And uh, you just for uh, two two fifty or two euros or something like that, you you you're fed. Mm -hmm. Right. Who's had a muck bifana? Muck bifana. Carl has had it. Yeah, I'll I tell know, you what I did have, right? <laughs> and, and here's a warning, here's a public health warning, right? The Franciscina, yeah, we haven't had oh, one yeah. for ages, and yeah, I, I so so look forward to that, and I did so enjoy it. But I've forgotten oh. the, the cheese, right? The cheese, right, just goes on forever, and you're like knitting <laughs> with it because as you're trying to cut it, there's more, and it's, it's a, and then when you finally get it on your fork and in the mouth, right, then it's kind of wraps around the back of your throat, and you're trying to swallow it. <laughs> So yeah. remember that, guys. Next, it's, it's all over your ear, and then remember that, guys. Next time you have one, I oh, have the, 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 I call the mozzarella moment. I was yeah. thinking about you because I know you love uh, Franzosina so much. Uh, what, what, what was the what was your opinion? Because you sent us the pictures of the Franzosina that you and uh, Linda had. What, what did you guys? How did you guys like that one? We had the uh, Franzosina uh, special, um, yeah. which was basically you know the, the business, everything. Everything you could pack into a, into a franchise. It was like, well, probably the most fun you can have with your clothes on, to be honest. It was, it was, it was, it was, was semi-orgasmic. It was lovely. It was, after we all that time, it was proper. We do need to make a video, don't we? Yeah, Deconstruct yeah. Franchisinia, where you pull it out like a food mixer, a, a, <laughs> like a, like... a mini clubman, a mobile phone. <laughs> you just, just use like it all the way, Scott. The Jackson phone. <laughs> In there, so. yeah. Go on. Francesia from Viagra. Now this was down in Tamar. There's a um, a lovely little restaurant they've got down there. I must take you guys when when you come down to stay with us, which hope will be soon. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll go to the the Jardin restaurant in Tamar, which is lovely. We we found a place, we found a place in Coimbra. There's two places that are amazing. Yeah. And when next time you come over here, because I know you love Francesina so much, I got to take you to both of these places and then you got to compare because I can see that, you know, when you talk of food terms that was orgasmic, I know Francesina is your thing. Yeah, it's all in the sauce, Frank. It's all in the sauce. It, that's it where you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on, we've got some catching up to do here um, before the people who actually got the right wine score it. Um, Steve <laughs> Wall says, well, well done. <laughs> well, come over there and you saw your hand in a minute. <laughs> well done, Anna, from Steve Walton. From Antonio, Bifana's a red wine or a cold beer, yes. It's got to be melt in the mouth with a Bifana, isn't it, for a good one? FL, uh, Benoit Tordos, I'm glad Mrs. Penny is feeling well. I saw the phrase some time ago, wine is the answer. What was the question? Do you follow? Yes, FL, that'll do for us tonight. Frosty cold beer. With the Bifana. Oh, it's oh, making me really Yeah. Hey, kids. How's everyone? Hey, Victoria. Hey, about to Victoria. Uh, so I'm about to bring crisp white. There she goes with a crisp white over there. Uh, some people hey, follow that. Victoria. Go on, Rachel. I am the Thursday Joey. Yeah. I've seen an insight to, to, to Rachel tonight. I didn't know. 
<laughs> Saucy Rachel. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, look, Chelsea boys here. True Blue, Joel Mendonca. Chelsea. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patrick, I think you all want a refill of the drinks. Yes. Uh, well yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, tough day in the sort of mind. Glad to catch you all, even if at the end. Cheers, friends. Victoria, come on, let's toast Victoria there. Yeah, cheers, Victoria. Uh, oh, um, here we go. The infamous Bimbi machine. Who has, you know those... Oh, this is such a complicated match. It's, you know what a Bimbi machine is, right? No, don't, uh, Carl, don't get any ideas. You know what a Bimbi machine is, right? In the first... I don't. Tell me. First, I don't either. Yeah, we, we were in a rental, no. and, and uh, the landlord said, mentioned bimby and i said what's that and he was really shocked that we didn't know yes. what a bimby machine was so go on and what is it well, it's, it's an all-in-one machine that like does it's it, it actually it, it's a machine i should really hate yes. and uh, i do i, I do kind of hate it it's it's done by germans so you can't hurt, hate germans that much but it's 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 a machine that is that you know does the does the does the cooking, cooking it, it does the roasting chopping. and it does the chop it, it, it just does everything, everything. Yeah. and you kind of you kind of like look at Germans and you you go why why you gotta do this kind of stuff to people man <laughs> why do you why do you even need this on uh, like besides cars why do you need to do this to my food <laughs> but it's so German. It makes the trains on time. Fantastic. Okay, well, we will do a little meme about bimbies in due course. We'll have a special program dedicated to bimbies. We should do it on a Monday, introducing the bimby, Frank. Uh, but, uh, but done to all our stars on Spotlight. Cheers, Victoria. Patrick, uh, Linda definitely wants another drink. Make it large. Come on, Linda, what would you want? I've got, I've got some lemonade. <laughs> sort it out put way around in there i think uh steve wilton a nod to linda linda you are getting some love tonight we just added a splash of lemonade to the vina Ver verge not bad at all <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> right. that's gone down well in america your serving suggestion look uh, victoria rachel <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you my dear friends from the true blue there can we save the Chelsea discussion for tomorrow? Yes, all right, we'll move on. Yes, please. And, and Nubianet. Okay, so it's like a British Thermomix. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, no, yes. no. No, no. I'm no. lost on the thingy as well. Carl, well, Carl uh, you you will all be lost on it. Let's do it on a let's do it on a Monday show, and I can break it down. And then I can, we will just show shots of uh, Doug be either surprised or excited. I'm, 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 with, I'm, I'm with Gina. Bimby sounds kinky. Hey, let's get the Bimby out. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, Bimby it's got a, a certain. To it. Bimby hasn't got an MOT, so it has to stay in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> this, is why, this, is why, this is why. This is why we love Garbo because you know Garbo sometimes brings out the animal in all of us. <laughs> I want a Bimby in the man cave downstairs. I've got to get one. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. I like, you know, in conversation with a classic car show, you'd say, do you know what? My my young daughter's into classic cars, and I've just got her a Bimby. <laughs> a Bimby 600. Yeah, you a Bimby 600. <laughs> no, a 420 because of the insurance cost, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, made, you made a very interesting comment there, um, which I thought was some sort of um, marital euphemism. It hasn't got an MOT, so it's staying in the garage. Do you say that often to your wife? I do indeed, yes. We should all have that on standby, fellas. It Thank hasn't goodness I don't have a garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, ladies, it's staying in the garage. How does this happen? How do you survive in that house? Like, are there people walking around in the house with like sharp knives? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why he's always safe. Whenever he's on a live stream with us, he knows he's safe, right? I'm From safe. Heart. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we've got nicknames. We we nearly went there last week. 
uh, for this sort of passive aggressive male thing of giving each other nicknames. We've got Welsh Tony, which I quite like. The yeah. doc obviously is the doc already. Garvo has got one. Persian Frank didn't quite stick, did it? Did I, it? Yeah, I'll give you another one. It's fine. Oh dear, look. Oh, <laughs> <you're German. laughs> <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Koenig could well be German, I'm thinking, right? Carl with a K, mm -hmm. Koenig awesome. as well. Patrick, yeah, okay. Um, and I just looked it up. A Bimbi is a Thermomix with a different, with a German engineering and a different branding. We will yeah. do that. That is our promise, isn't it? That is our, our tipsy promise. Okay, Frank's going to take on the Bimbi, which has an MOT, but is which hasn't got an MOT and is staying in the garage. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to... I'm going to score now. Um, <laughs> Not without an MOT, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Does Louisa know this? <laughs> Just, please, seriously. <laughs> Make sure you can get Gary's door up. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. One, one, another another sec a secret. I don't know if you guys remember... Carl Munson never used to leave himself this open before. He's now he opens now he leaves like a door open and you can just walk right in. <laughs> Drive a bus through it. Drive a bus through it. <laughs> okay. All right. I've got my reputation to think about. Uh, <laughs> right. So I'm I don't know if you know this, but I managed to get the correct wine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I really love you. Okay, so there it is. <laughs> in case there's any doubt, it would be the Vargea, um, classic Vigna Verde. For me, I mean, Vigna Verde is just an open door, and and you know, I, I, I'm going, I'm going, I'll drink red with you guys on a Thursday night, but it's like Eshbermand and um, Vigna Verde all the way for me i'm loving the fun and i think you're right doug it does help when the when the temperature goes up a bit it's a you know it's the start of a summer evening etc it's fantastic so i'm loving it and i bought i saw another one you know you go you look at the vigna verde section in the supermarket and there are those rustic looking ones and they've, they often have this tall bottle that's another thing we didn't mention right it's often in the tall bottle that fits awkwardly in the fridge it's a nightmare <laughs> in most modern fridges <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the other ones they've got a dimpled bottom. Who doesn't like a dimpled bottom? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> shall I wait? <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 that was a perfect time. Well right. done, Carl. Absolutely, no, coming to you. Loving it. All right, uh, Leona's having a good look at the dimple bottom there, other. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I've got a dimple bottom. Oh, just got a big hole in my bottom. Definite lack of dimple bottom. <laughs> How is anyone going to take us seriously? Come on. Um, so you, you've got the tall, tall bottle, the dimple bottom, and on some of these, do I need to beat you up? <laughs> What's he? Did anyone notice? Did anyone notice? It was a public holiday. Get the camera away. Go away. Yeah, did anyone notice it was a public holiday today? Yes, because yes. the authorities knew yeah. that Carl, it, the authorities it, knew that Carl had got the right wine. <laughs> <laughs> a national celebration. Oh hey. All it's right. All it'll right. snow in Portugal in June if I have the right bloody wine, won't it? You know, it'll be it really yeah. will. Come on, Carl, give us your mark. Come on, get there. <laughs> All right. and, the, and they've got, also got the cages on the top and a, and a really nice poppable cork. Vigna Verde. I just think it's the, it's the, it's the, 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 um, the pinnacle of Portuguese wine. I love it. I really do. It, beyond the Espirimant, you know, my Bairada experience. I love, I'm really loving the Vigna Verde. So it gets, it gets kind of like 4.5 upwards anyway, just, just yeah. because it's Yvette, it starts from 4.5. Okay. I've loved it tonight, Penny. I love it that you you sourced this in the UK and that I was able to find it. <laughs> and, um, I'm getting the apple. <laughs> I'm getting the apple. I'm getting the citrus. <laughs> and, and I even... I the even air of superiority. <laughs> I get, it's got an air of superiority. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, bloody hell. I paired it with sushi tonight. And I tell you what, each time, each time you blow your hooter out with some wasabi mustard, you're you're cleansing your palate for another blast of the vinho verde. It's the ultimate pairing. Japan meets Portugal. Frank, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm trying to do a, a, a... <laughs> this guy this guy actually makes it up as he goes. This is beautiful. I, I know it seems like that. I know it seems like that, but I actually stay up really late at night writing all of this. <laughs> I've got a team. I've got a team working on it. <laughs> In actual so it starts because it's me it okay. starts at 4.5 yeah my children ranging from nine to two <laughs> wait for it I, i've loved this evening <clears throat> it's all about the experience isn't it sardine <laughs> jumpers and the goalpost it's just it's all there it's all there with uh, welsh tony this whole evening is going to be. Hey, well told me, man. Hey. <laughs> Sushi. It's, I mean, for me, it's got to be 4.75, Penny. Thank, thank you so much for bringing this into my life. The, the, <laughs> and I can, I mean, I have, to, I have to finish by just saying, I only wish you other guys could have experienced it tonight. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> this, this, is, this is the biggest example of the biggest ass kiss in the history of ass kissing. I swear to God. <laughs> Look at this. Look, this is the this is one of the best reviews we've ever had. I love that, Patrick. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, no, then, Carl, 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 I've got, I've got, I've got to propose something here, right? This is I saw something. I saw something the other day where two worlds cross. You're on about Espermant and Vino Verde, right? Yep. I actually saw an Espermant Alvarino the other day. So, what oh. could that be like? I can't wait. I cannot get him to send me a bottle of it. Was Pingo Dust? Pingo Dust. Le Leona, 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 what were you saying? I wondered if Carl got a hint of cashew nuts. Cashew. Hold on just a moment. I'll just check for you because you won't be able to do this for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Camera on Carl. Carl, put your camera on. Give me a screen. I want to watch you do this. I want to watch you. Let's have a full screen, Carl. I'm just kidding. I'm going to the nut. I'm going to the nut spectrum now. Carl sniffing his nuts. What's that then, Carl? It's my shame. <laughs> anyway. oh, oh. Nice. No, I'm not. I'm not. Getting, I'm, I'm, not I'm not getting anything on the nut spectrum with this. I have to say, <laughs> <laughs> it's, pure, it's pure fruit. It's pure fruit and no nuts for me. I'm afraid yours is off. <laughs> <laughs> So Carl is not sniffing his nuts. No, I'm not not going there. I, am, I am not going there. Four point, I'm going to stay with 4.75. Penny, please, <laughs> over to you. Okay. Well, I'm very, very pleased because my entire raison d'etre is to get Carl giddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, and I, think, I think Carl's been well giddy this evening, which is just always a joy to watch. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think that last... That last shot of you looking for your nuts. <laughs> one that it's so often producers could use. That can only match you and your rug pen. <laughs> That's okay, Patrick. I can take it. I've had a word. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Um, there's a, uh, I think there's a German sense of precision being exacted upon us. <laughs> put Linda in the frame, please. I've done that for you, Patrick. Okay, um, there you go. Oops. All right. Is that the man? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got to make them happy. Hey, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this, I think I said it earlier, it's a really quaffable wine. I don't mm. need to 
as food, fish, sardines, etc., would be brilliant with it. But you, you could just sit here, you know, on your sunbed by the pool with your book, and you could easily sink a bottle or two of this easily. Mm. It's really mm. lovely. It's really dry. It's got lots of citrus notes. It's just very nice. And do you know, it's the first one I've ever had. Wow. Really? No, I've never had a vino verde before. Uh, you haven't? Oh my lord! Come here quickly. Uh, no. Come, and, come over to Portugal and enjoy yourself. I'm a virgin. Yeah. I was a virgin. A vino, a vino virgin. Mm -hmm. Seriously, we have had vino verde before. We have yeah, had vino verde. I didn't before. join until later. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Late that's developer. True. Yeah, late developer. I was. Yeah. No, they never said I was a late developer at school. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, but this, so I can't score it on your scale, Gary. I'm afraid I can only score it on a white wine scale. Mm. But I would, and and I'm quite a French wine dry dry white wine lover. But this, I really like this. So I'm going to go four point eight. Wow! That's wow. Awesome. wow. Can, can I thank that, Carl? For bringing the teacher <clears throat> an apple. Yes. No, no, I, no, no. There's none, none, none of that. I've been completely, completely objective tonight, as you know. You're uh, here for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. <laughs> like the the inflatable headmaster of the inflatable school, who said to the inflatable <laughs> boy with the pin, "You've let <laughs> me down. <laughs> You've let the school down." Worst of all, you've let yourself, you let yourself down. down. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, it's never a bad moment for that joke, is there? Um, I just ordered. I just ordered Portugal Ramos Vinha Verde. Wrote what? Well, that's that's, that's a plot twist, isn't it? Vinha Verde oh, Rose. No, no, you can have Vinha Verde Rose. <clears throat> Absolutely. Don't don't be thinking it's just and red wine. Yeah, and you can have red wine. And red wine. Believe it or not. Yeah. Oh, it was nine dollars ninety nine, so that's not so bad. <laughs> Andrew, I'm so glad you asked that. Just to just, <laughs> just, just, to, just to clarify. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, Eddie, have you had it the wine before? Stephen knows us so well. <laughs> Heads picking it. Stephen, <laughs> not often enough. Very good. Eddie, very good. Um, or was it a actually? Yeah, what was behind your your sort of rationale for choosing? Well, just I I love I do like white wine. I like mm. um, bubblies, as you know. I like white wine. I like dry white wine. So as I was picking Portuguese wine, I thought, well, I've got to try this one. Got to go for one of these. Do you and mind love... me asking, you, whereabouts did you find this one? Um, was it in a shop or online? I think this was a majestic online. Oh, I was online, Doug. Good God, we're in the middle of a pandemic, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always online. And wine's heavy. Yeah, well, I buy all my wines, um, apart from the Lathwaite. I still get mines in the stores. I do have a lovely little wine shop in Brixham, though, where they, they cook all sorts of wonderful things, and they have Portuguese and Spanish things going on. And they've got a little bike, and if I say, oh, I fancy a bottle of that, they trundle it up the road on their bike and mm. drop it up my gate for me, yeah. which is really sweet. Interestingly... Majestic. In, 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 you know this the oriental conversation we were having before mm, yeah. british, british people use the word continental don't they yep in that yeah. in that same way you know go to the continental <laughs> delicatessen like something separate yeah. that's right yeah. yes you can get that from the continental store yeah then uh, continentals yeah. amazing amazing isn't it well they do eat different things from the british i'm for better or for worse it's not, they're not everywhere. the same Yep, uh, including the, the two cheeses. It's yeah. a majestic <laughs> exclusive. Carfilli and, um, Carfilli and, and Cheddar. And so Cheddar. Cheddar. Okay. We you know like Carl, Cheddar. You know, Carl, you know what would be the best is if uh, it would be amazing if you, myself, and uh, Garbo were to accompany Doug and we would just be behind him. And we would just be watching him just tearing things down. And we'd be right behind him as his PR team and saying, he really didn't mean that. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. I actually can't wait to do a kind of Top Gear where we're, we're touring around Europe. And, and the, first, the first episode 
is Doug going into a Chinese shop in Portugal. <laughs> oh, Chineza. Chineza. No, Chineza. Send Doug in first with a, with a camera. And then we just pick up the pieces after that, don't we? Well, yeah. you know, the what, what thing about a Chineza, you know, I buy T-shirts in Chineza. Normally, yeah. I get away with a double XL. But when I go to a Chinez, I need a 12 XL. I know what that is, Doug. Because yeah. you say, I bet you say at the counter, could a couple of your ladies help me trying this on? <laughs> exactly, the- yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> how many X you want? You know, how many X? <laughs> oh, okay. There's Doug. There's Doug, everybody. Welsh Tony. The first episode would be the last. <laughs> 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 what do we call it? What do we call the show? Kind of like Doug Deep or something like that. <laughs> Doug, Bottom, Doug gear. Deep. Bottom gear. Bottom <laughs> gear. <laughs> that would get a lot of viewers. We weren't, it weren't back. Thing, Ooh, it? It's not what I thought. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, we, we, we have outstayed our welcome again. This is becoming a habit, everybody. Half an hour over. I think we've done all our scoring. Uh, Penny, any concluding <laughs> comments or anybody you'd like to acknowledge, especially who managed to get the right wine tonight? <laughs> well, of course. I'd have to thank my mother and my agent, but most of all, I'd like to thank Carl for getting the right wine. Oh, well done. Thank you so much. No, no, nothing. Good. <laughs> and for the rest of you getting into the spirit, and I'm sorry I've spoiled your evening, Linda, particularly. Oh, oh yeah. now you can spoil my evening. Uh, <laughs> I've got lunch, <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick word love of you, warning. Linda. Quick word of warning. Yeah, a quick, uh, a quick word in. I, 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 I love the fact that we got the uh, Linda 1.5 today, <laughs> and you know that's the mark that we usually use for any kind of wines that we use in this wine club. Yeah. And this particular Vino Verde got a 1.5. Still, lovely Linda is still smiling, and she's still hanging in there. And just she's, she's still <laughs> saying it's a one point five, but I don't mind it. That's the lowest score. Everything one point five. I know. In, yeah, even you are very responsible for the lowest score. I know. That's why we love Linda. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm honest, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade standing by. See you tomorrow evening, chap, says Andrew. Uh, enjoy, Eric J. Enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone. See you in the man cave. We haven't got much evening left. I'm going to have to go to bed soon, especially after <laughs> after the, most of a bottle of Vigna Verde. And just the final, oh, much love from Andrew Gilchrist. Cheers, Andrew. Hope we've um, lightened your load this evening. Um, and oh, yeah. um, stop it, Gary. Stop it, Gary. No need for that. Down, carry down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a final word of warning. <laughs> oh, um, uh, hold on, Joel Mendonca says, "Give your uh, speciality." Oh, sure. Can you imagine this with some sautéed prawns? Oh my word! Stop that'd be it. Great. Prawn but balls the, and everything. Crushed, <laughs> and oh, we can, they wouldn't have repeat on me this time. And I, oh my god, sautéed. Doug, would you care to make a crustacean joke? A crustacean no. joke? Probably not. Okay, no. uh, and. Um, <laughs> It's, it's what do you call 20 Chinamen in a telephone box? Crustacean. Crustacean? Oh. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> I can do that. I don't, I don't like crabs. I don't like crabs because they're always giving me a bit of that, isn't they? All right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, even, the, even the doc laughed at that racist joke. Um, <laughs> and I was laughing at the fact you were doing it, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do you know, Doc, you, you, I'm completely <laughs> innocent this time. Innocent. Yeah. As always, and um, Stephen Wells, look, look, no hands. <laughs> it, 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 it were him, it were him over there. Him, blimey, that, oh, high, that halo's bright tonight, isn't it? It is <laughs> great. <to hear> <laughs> Thank you all for that. I've laughed along with you all more than once. Cheers, cheers, John Drury. Absolutely. <laughs> cheers. Fine. Final bit, bit of, I mean, Stephen Wells should be a life coach with advice like this. Don't Google. <laughs> Don't Google mm. bottom here, I think, is, is, is the final <laughs> final piece of advice. Don't go there. Do not go there, folks. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. You. Thank you, folks. Here's everyone. Virginia. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> See you. <laughs>